Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Lala Perez, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. This video is going to be on patience because this is something that I feel like it's harder to have nowadays when everything can come to you instantly, right? So if you hear some background noise, I'm sorry. There's three animals in the back and having three animals is something that really tests your patience, you know? kind of go wild but they're going wild okay today I feel like we get so many things quickly there's so many reasons to not be patient because things come to us instantly we get this thing instant gratification right like if you need like something like I don't know if you need like a dress right it's not like you have to go and like make your own dress and do it, you know, and it takes a few hours and you have to prepare ahead of time and all that. Now you can just like go online and buy a dress. And if you're really impatient, there's options to have faster shipping. And if you're really, really impatient, you can get like Amazon Prime and get things that same day or within the next few hours because People like to get things quickly because no one has patience for things. Like when you're checking out on your Amazon and it says like free delivery for next day shipping or free delivery for like three day shipping. No one is clicking the three day shipping. People would rather get things quicker because they want things now. Like even when you're like swerving in traffic and then you see that car who's like, speeding so fast down the highway and then you're like why are they speeding so fast and then they get like they start switching lanes and then they get end up being the lane that ends up slowing down and your lane goes faster and you're kind of looking at them like wow they were speeding so much for what and then all of you guys stop at a red light because it doesn't matter right but there's it's like kind of shocking when you notice someone who has more patience for things like that's you know more of an attractive thing than having impatience like if you see someone like getting so frustrated because you're not getting something quickly that's kind of like oh are you okay it's what's wrong type of thing right so i think like learning to have more patience is something that you have to be patient with yourself with because the changing like these habits that you have of wanting things fastly or trying to rush is like hard right like when you're <laughs> even when you're like walking somewhere right and the person in front of you is walking so slowly and you kind of get like frustrated at the moment you're not appreciating what's happening because you're thinking about how annoyed you are of this other person taking their time right so i think to gain some patience in life you need to be patient with yourself to think like I need to work on this and it's something that you can't automatically be like I'm gonna be patient and it's gonna be okay because you're gonna end up probably getting frustrated at yourself or not you know seeing results quickly enough because you're so impatient but yeah I think it all comes down to having more gratitude or being okay experiencing things the way that they're happening for a reason like if you're in a grocery line and your line is taking very long and then you end up switching lanes or like switching lines to go to one that you think is going to be faster but you end up taking even longer it's like relax like if you had had patience and waited in that first line you would have been out quicker but it doesn't really matter that much like a few seconds of a difference does it really matter because ooh, my plant okay sometimes like things happen for a reason and it's like if you rush to do things, maybe it's not gonna always be its best. Like if you're rushing to like get somewhere, like maybe something could happen. Like that reason that you're getting stopped at all the red lights is probably because like the world is saving you from something that could have happened that maybe you wouldn't, that wouldn't have been the best, you know? Like maybe you would have, I don't even wanna say like a car crash or something. Like it's the world I feel like pushes you to be tested for patience sometimes because maybe something is not supposed to happen or something is supposed to happen. Like, let's say you're stuck in a line waiting for food and you're getting so angry, right? 
but then maybe that's the day that you meet someone that you really enjoy it's because you were stuck to be in the cafeteria for a bit longer right and you end up meeting a friend or someone else like it all kind of plays out how it's supposed to play out right and these animals are crazy 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 but yeah it's like when you notice someone who has patience it's kind of like a shocking thing because that's not something everyone has nowadays which is kind of crazy but i feel like to have patience you have to realize that everything is not supposed to be quick you're not supposed to be instantly gratified by everything right sometimes good things take time and some things that like are done too quickly don't end up being the best like like for me like sometimes when i would cook like i would be rushing to cook everything because i wanted to eat so quickly because i was so hungry or i felt like i was in a rush right but it ends up not even being the best thing like you put this the heat all the way on the highest level and then your food ends up getting burnt or the things just don't end up tasting well or you don't let things like sit and marinate in its flavor so it's not as enjoyable as it could have been you're cooking so high that like it kind of makes you like need more time for things like let's say you're cooking and then all your i don't know your stew it starts to like splatter right and then you start getting a little bit more frustrated because everything's splattered and now you have to clean it up, right? It's like those things of having patience of cooking your food slower and then end up enjoying it more and tasting it better and not having to clean as much, right? Even down to the thing of when your food is ready for you when you're done cooking it, but you know it's like steaming hot like to not like hurry up and eat it and then end up burning your mouth but instead of just waiting like five ten minutes go like wash the dishes instead and then come and eat your food once it's room temperature or a little bit cooled down so you can enjoy it more right having patience is something that you kind of have to just practice and then also realize those things that maybe are causing you to be impatient like why are you feeling so impatient for things right like what's causing you to rush is this something that you've always done like for me i noticed that my my mom she's like kind of impatient and i felt like i was becoming somewhat impatient like she would walk very quickly to places and want things done like like that right so i found myself walking so fast that like i wasn't even enjoying where i was walking to sometimes or i didn't like appreciate what was happening or give myself some time to even like speak or do anything right so it's like realizing like why are you rushing to things why are you like maybe triggered by something like if kids make you really impatient maybe hang out with some ki like some kids some more some of your nieces or nephews and things like that because like you kind of have to push yourself to be uncomfortable being so impatient and realizing that like oh you need to calm down right and sometimes maybe you can get so impatient about things that you kind of have to just separate yourself take a little breather and realize like you need to calm down because sometimes when you're impatient what are they eating i don't know but I'm saying sometimes when you're so impatient, you kind of get that urgency and that rush and that all that you're feeling kind of gets like pushed onto other people. Like someone can see you, if you're going somewhere with someone and you can see that they're like rushing to do things, you kind of feel rushed too, right? And when you notice that someone gets really impatient, like it's not an attractive thing right when you notice someone like losing their temper with a child like who what like nah or even when you're in the car with someone and you're you notice they're the one who's like speeding and then they end up getting stuck at a red light and then there's traffic and they get road rage right it's like those small things kind of add up and it builds this stress inside of yourself, right? 
when you're so impatient, sometimes, ooh, it's a cat, okay, sometimes you don't realize that you're like stressing yourself out and you can feel this tension within your own body. Like maybe you're so impatient that you start to clench your jaw so much or your shoulders are really tense or you're just like constantly on alert, like no chill, like you're not calm at all. You always feel like you have to be doing something. And sometimes doing that kind of just overworks your body more than it needs to be, right? So I would say to have patience is something you kind of have to have patience for. You need to realize those things that maybe are causing you to be impatient and to put yourself in that situation more. To realize like it's not that serious saving yourself like five minutes or so. Like maybe those things that are holding you back are happening for a reason because it's stopping you from doing something that maybe you're not supposed to be doing. Like the like that's the way it's supposed to pan out, right? Are you eating metal? Hold on one second. Okay, the dog was eating something metal, so I had to go save it. But okay, realizing that like sometimes those things that make you hold back a bit of time that are like testing you are probably happening for a reason. Maybe you're supposed to be like in the grocery store for an additional like five minutes because maybe you're gonna like meet the love of your life or something, or maybe. I don't know, you're not supposed to get somewhere on time or you're not supposed to be there 20 minutes early because you're in such a rush and you're not supposed to be rushing for things because something else is supposed to happen. Mm -hmm. I also wanted to add this in the video. I don't know why, I just feel like I should say it, but if you really want to like test your patience, at least not really, really, but for me, is when I started getting like plants, it really tested my patience because I wanted my plants to look big and beautiful and voluminous and all that but the thing is like you can't rush a plant to grow like you can't force it to grow faster nothing's gonna happen you kind of have to like give it what it needs like give yourself what you need for patience right and you'll slowly see the change you'll slowly see that development happening i think plants are beautiful and they take their time with things and that's what makes them them they're imperfect, but they're beautiful. They'll never be perfect. You'll probably never gain like the max patience in the world, right? Like sometimes it's unreasonable to be so patient. Like if you're like waiting for your computer to start and it said, or like to restart, and it's like, oh, it will take 20 minutes. But then you're ending, it's like you're there for like two hours and then a whole day. Like, okay, that's when maybe you're, you know, reasonable to be impatient because things are supposed to happen quicker that's when you go get some help right but plants yeah they are slow and they develop slowly and that's what gives them their beauty i hope this video could be helpful if you're trying to gain a little bit of patience right be patient with yourself and take it one step at a time don't rush don't feel so tense about it because that's just how it is, right? So, like this video if you enjoyed it, if you got some knowledge out of it. <laughs> um, if you have any other tips that you would give someone who wants to be more patient in, li patient in life, let me know, let me know in the comments. Share it with all of us, because patience is a beautiful thing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But, okay. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Guys, Lola, Nara, what's up? What's happening? Why are you barking, huh? It's okay. Oh, my babies. Yeah, <laughs> bye.